Hi, the following four videos will show you how to set up your Pi for development using SSH for executing your scripts, Synergy for sharing your keyboard and mouse between your computer and the Pi, and Visual Studio Code to create your programming scripts from your actual, in this case, my MacBook. I guess the first thing we'll talk about is SSH. Um, so pretend this here is the Raspberry Pi and this is my MacBook. I can connect to the Pi via a simple command, ssh, the name of the user on the Pi you want to log in as, <clears throat> and the network address of the Pi itself. Now, if you haven't changed the password, it will default to Raspberry. And now we're connected to the Pi via ssh. So what can we do with ssh? Um, we can execute commands, for example, change directory. Um, this is all happening on the Pi, so now I'm currently in the desktop of the Pi itself. So if I wanted to make a file, just do touch, hello Pi, and you can see here that the file got created. So now let's add a bit of code to this. And we're using Python, so... simple hello world and we can execute it by well usually python and the name of the script and we had hello pi and this is actually running on the pi itself and not my macbook if you want to connect to ssh on a windows machine you'll have to download a program called putty um, here you'll just do pi at Whatever your IP address is, we'll find that out next video. And hit open. The next thing we'll talk about is using Synergy to share, in my case, my MacBook's keyboard and mouse. Um, in this way, we don't have to have two keyboards on your desk or two mice on your desk, one for the Pi and one for your computer. Synergy is totally cross platform. Um, an example here. I've got my MacBook running as the server. And this is my MacBook, which is the host, and I've got my Pi to the left, so if I move my mouse to the left of the screen, I enter on the Pi. And it's totally cross-platform, that's my Windows PC, which isn't turned on at the moment, but I could go all the way to the left, and I could carry on going left, and that'll end up on my Windows machine. This piece of software isn't actually free. Well, it used to be free, um, but now they charge ten dollars for it, which is roughly about seven pound if you're in the UK. I'll add all the links to these in the description. So if I actually go onto my desktop on my Pi, I can open that file that we created earlier. And you can see here, print hello world. Let's really close that. We won't actually be using any text editors on the Pi. That leads me on to the next piece of software we need, which is Visual Studio Code. Um, it's made by Microsoft, it's totally cross-platform now. So I've got it here on my MacBook. If I want to use Visual Studio to edit scripts on my Pi, I can find the Pi on the network, connect to it using the same details as SSH, so Pi is my username, Raspberry is the password, I haven't changed anything. And here you can see the desktop and the file we created earlier. If I wanted to open the whole desktop, just drag it into Visual Code. And here we have the, the Python script we created earlier. Just change it in Visual Studio Code, hit save. Go back onto our terminal and execute that script again. It says hello YouTube. So in the next video I'll talk about how to set up your Pi and connect to it via SSH. I'll be using Mac, but if you use that program putty I described earlier, you'll be able to follow along with Windows. And it's a little bit more involved because you need to find out your IP address. But yeah, we'll get onto that next video.